Good morning and here we are in an absolutely beautiful location to wake up to. just at the uh, at the start of a lovely gorge which runs over that way and there's a an absolutely stunning coloured lake like it's kind of really bluey emerald greeny colour it's really quite special um thank you yes so i mean this place is just beautiful yeah, we left our lovely little secret hidden gem, which we stayed at. We drove north towards France, stopped off a little air and had just about enough time for Dizzy to practice for Crufts 2020 on a little agility run. Yes, up, 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 round, round, up, round, and here. Yeah, and back, and back. This, let's go, let's go. Down, down, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> Which was fun. And then, yeah, we continued to this beautiful lake with this amazing gorge. And it's a huge, huge lake or reservoir. Um, continues. And then this, I think, this is a halfway point. There's a little gorge. There's a walk we're going to do. And then it continues to another lake and, and onwards, northwards. Yeah, we're about. Um... We're only about probably 60 kilometers south of France. Mm. So we're kind of right close to the Pyrenees and I mean the... Yeah, the Pyrenees and it's getting cold. You can tell the drop in temperature at night, it gets a little bit cold. And as soon as you're in the shade, if you're not in the sun, it's quite chilly. Yeah, but and I mean, so it's worth it because the scenery is just stunning, isn't it? Mm. Round here, as you can imagine. So we arrived in this little location yesterday afternoon. We didn't do any vlogging yesterday because we got on with some jobs that we've been meaning to do. Mm. Um, well, since we set off actually, haven't we? Yeah, we've been carrying tools in the sort of main area of the van to make us do these jobs, which we haven't got around till, until now, so. Yeah, just some little things like we had to heat wrap the, the, the hot air duct coming out of the heater. We had to um, silicon the windscreen again and we've got to, just got to put the tape on there today. Yes, it's another cowboy job by the explorers. This time, Gorilla Tape to fix our leaking window. No. Beautiful, beautiful. And hopefully that should keep us dry as we head north into wetter climates. Happy? Yeah. Looks good again. Window is replaced at some point and they didn't do a very good job. So yeah, more silicone, more tape and we should be good for another trip. Um, and we did the mozzie nets. We've got fine, loads of yeah. mozzie nets, put Velcro around the windows, slotted those on. So they're going to be on all the windows for when we get up to the Baltic area. So we haven't actually had a chance to go out and explore this area today, mm. have we? So we're going to go for a nice little walk, gorge walk. And, um, a little one. A little one. So I can't push yourself too much. And 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 see see what this the yeah see what see what we see what's around. See 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 I told her not to get up that ladder. I told her, I tried to tell her, there ain't no stopping this one. <laughs> yes, we wanted to do this yesterday as well, but the sun was full on. And it's probably best to do it when the sun solar panel isn't roasting hot, taking loads of rays. So yeah, I mean, it's only been two weeks, but these, I mean, the top one especially was so dusty. And that's obviously going to probably affect your power a little bit, power coming in when it's got a layer of dust on it. So a quick little wipe, wipe down with a damp cloth before the sun comes full on them today. Yeah, this is just after half a coffee that she's up that ladder, getting on with jobs. 
You imagine after two coffees. <laughs> Ain't no stopping her. She'll be climbing that mountain up there. was only just a fruit smoothie. See, this usually does in about five seconds, but because this is, the machine is 300 watts and our inverter is only 300 watts, we have got a bigger inverter, but it's hassle getting it out. But it did eventually. It like, woo, 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 woo. And we finally got a lovely fruit smoothie. Let's try it. This one's with soy milk. We don't usually have them with um, soy milk. You just like these fruit juices, but let's try. Mmm, it's really nice. Yummy. Love? Don't mind if I do. This is a lovely walk, isn't it? A bit iggledy piggledy, a bit bumpy. Um, we've done about, I don't know, 25 minutes, half an hour walk. So obviously that's kind of the limit at the moment with the old back, because that's an hour round trip. Yeah, it's quite nice. You're just walking along the edge of one of the cliffs. A lot of the time you haven't got much of a view. You're going through like a little shaded forest, but then it opens out and you've got a little cable to help you get around the treacherous bits but it's, it's worth a worth a little walk yeah it's a worth very a nice wander. walk and it goes on for probably um two, two and, and, half, and a half hours yeah. two and a half hours so it's a five hour round trip isn't it you have to go there and back um and there's little rapids now as it's going around the corner and continuing on so hopefully we'll get to see more of it as we drive further mm. it is actually easier than it looks from here, it looks quite sort of difficult, but it's not. And there's the rail as well. But yes, let's go. Yeah, I'm not really the biggest fan of heights, but when there's a little rail to grab hold of, it's all right. So you don't get too far ahead. Yeah, wait for your papas, Charlie. Good boy. Watch your head look. Slowly, slowly. Slowly, there we go. Papa, you know how you are on bridges. Yeah, he's scared, okay. scared of bridges, but he's all right on these little, um, yeah. I mean, it's similar to a bridge, isn't it? What's really nice about this whole area, we've said it before, is the, bird, the amount of bird song, the birds singing and you know the swooping of the birds of prey and everything. It's nice, isn't it? Beautiful, yeah. It's so wild. And you can see that you probably can't, can't pick it up on the camera, but you can see them swooping in and out of these shallow caves now. 
I sound old, don't I? Bird watching and all that, but you know. You love it these days, don't I, you? I love, love it. A bit, I love a bit of bird watching these <laughs> days, I tell you, I do. Yes, this is where you observe the birds, and you've got <laughs> you've got quite a lot. Um, don't know the names in Spanish, but obviously. You do know the names in Spanish because it's written there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yes, but you've obviously got vultures, eagles, another bird of prey. Those two are both bird of prey, and lots of little birdies. So plenty, plenty to see if you're a bird watcher. A really good spot to come. Mm. So yeah, quite hot after that walk. So I thought I'd get a quick haircut <laughs> before, after, before, after. Yeah, it's getting quite warm. So time for a little trim. Yeah, we thought we'd just quickly vlog this, otherwise you might think it's a bit strange <laughs> that halfway through a vlog, Nick suddenly gone Lost completely bold. <laughs> yeah, this is a van life essential. It's actually dog's clippers, but it works great for Charlie and me. Much better than the ones I had before, so yeah. Anyway, come on, let's get you a rough. So as Sarah's just given me a lovely haircut, well most of you probably won't think that, but <laughs> <laughs> well, I like it anyway, so I need to go and rinse it off in this beautiful lake stroke reservoir. It is so gorgeous over down here. Literally we parked two minutes walk down to this stunning waterway. I'm just coming back out for a moment just to fight myself up for this. pretend it's lovely because it looks lovely oh it does look lovely sorry guys take two <laughs> refreshing though you feel lovely when you come out luckily for me i don't have to go in because i haven't just had my hair shaved and got loads of little hairs everywhere so and i'll just got a broken rib Yeah, we're leaving this beautiful location now after a haircut and an icy cold dip. And we are continuing north towards the French border. I think one more night in Spain. One last stop off. One last stop in a little town called Ainsa. Yes. I think. Beautiful well little old town. So, yeah. So, probably only one more night before we head into France tomorrow. But who knows? We'll see. We could be here another two weeks. <laughs> Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that like button below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please do and keep the comments coming because we absolutely love to hear from you. And we'll see you in the next video.